Shalom, Mosai and Quest Best. My name is Captain Gideon, and to my right, Officer Bezalel. Uh, you're watching 15 Minutes with the Captains. Without further ado, let's get into the topic. The name of the topic today is There's No White Jesus in the Bible. All right, we're going to start with Hebrews 7 and 14. Because all our lives we grew up with what? An image, a false image, I would say, of Christ, depicted as a white man. So let's see what the Bible says. Read. The book of Hebrews, chapter 7, verse 14. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah, of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. So the Bible says it is evident that what Christ came out of the tribe of Judah. Judah is what? That means Christ was a Jew. So let's see what the Bible has to say about the Jews, okay? The tribe of Judah. Go to Jeremiah 14 and 2. But the Bible explained everything very clearly. It's just that you go to church and you never took the time to read the Bible. That's why you don't know. But hey, all praise to the Most High, we're going to teach you. Jeremiah 14 and 2. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse 2. Judah mourneth, and the gates thereof languish. They are black unto the ground. What did the Bible say about Judah? They are black. Black unto the ground. The Jews are black unto the ground. If you ever seen the ground, it's brown, it's dark. The deeper you dig, the darker it gets. It says the Jews, Judah, is black unto the ground. You follow? Give me Lamentation 4 verse 8. Lamentation 4 and 8. Because the Jews are black people. Simple as that. Read. The book of Lamentations, chapter 4, verse 8. Their visage is blacker than a coal. Their visage. Visage is a French word for uh, face. Their faces is blacker than a coal. You ever seen coal? You ever had a barbecue and you have to buy charcoal? That's black. The scriptures say their visage is blacker than a coal. So how do you get white Jesus out of the tribe of Judah, who the Bible describes as a very black man. Give me uh, Lamentation 5 and uh, 10. The book of Lamentation, chapter 5, verse 10. Our skin was black like an oven. So our skin was black like an oven. Now, remember back in the days we used what? Brick oven. So when you go to them um, pizza place where they do the brick oven uh, pizzas, inside of it is like midnight. So it says our skin was black like an oven. So it's another description of what? What the children of Israel, the children of Judah look like. And Christ came out of Judah. Now another man that came out of Judah is what? King Solomon. Because Christ is a descendant of King Solomon, right? Let's go to our Song of Solomon 1 and 5 and see how did Solomon describe himself. The book of Song of Solomon. Chapter 1, verse 5. I am black. What did Solomon say about himself? I am black. It doesn't get any clearer than that. Solomon himself say, I am black. Read. Really? But comely. But comely. Like Muhammad Ali used to say, I'm black and beautiful. Solomon said, I am black and comely. Beautiful. Read. Really? O ye daughters of Jerusalem, mm -hmm. as the tents of Kedar. Kedar is black. So he says, I'm just as black as the tents of Kedar. Read. Really? As the curtains of Solomon. So, King Solomon, who is of the tribe of Judah, is a black man. The Bible described to you the tribe of Judah were black folks. You follow? So how do you get white Jesus? And I did say Christ is a, a, is a descendant of King Solomon. Let's go to Matthews real quick. Matthew chapter 1. We're going to only read verse 1 and uh, 6. The book of Matthew chapter 1 verse 1. The book of the generation of Jesus Christ the son of David, the son of Abraham. So jump to verse 6. So that's the book of, G of the generation, genealogy of Christ, showing you the, his family bloodline, right? Verse 6. Verse 6. And Jesse begot David the king, and, the David, and David the king begot Solomon, of her that had been the wife of Uriah. So Solomon is the son of the David, David is son of Jesse, and Jesse through lineage is the son of what? Abraham. Now let's jump to... Um, Verse 16. Verse 16. And Jacob begat Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom was born Jesus. So, was, of whom was born Jesus. So, if you if you read that whole chapter for sake of time, we won't read from 1 to 16. It gives you the whole genealogy of Christ. So, we, we still have verse 1 to show you. It's the generation of Christ. 6 to show you Jesse 
and David and King Solomon belong to it and 16 to show you that Christ came out of that lineage so his is uh, he came from what a black uh, bloodline so how do you get that white image blue eyes you follow give me Genesis 2 and 7 because the Jeremiah told you what Judah is black unto the ground okay uh, give me Genesis chapter 2 and verse 7 the book of Genesis chapter 2 verse 7 and the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground what what God create used to create man formed man of the dust of the ground and the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground of the dust of the ground what colors the dust of the ground all different shades of brown and again the deeper you dig the darker it gets read it again from the top book of Genesis chapter 2 verse 7 and the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground so God made man of the dust of the ground right read and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life so he gave men the laws that's what gives you life okay so let's jump to chapter 1 right we're gonna start at verse 26 the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 and God said let us make man in our image and God said pay attention to this let us make men in our image in our image so which means man was created to look like God and God used what he used the dust of the ground to form men so which means the first man was, was was what color a black man so if the first man was a black man and God said let us make men in our image what color is God a black man we're gonna prove it further down too because you might say I know he's just talking gibberish uh, well the white man was created yeah the white man was created way later in Genesis 25 25 so before that everybody was black and we're gonna prove that too go ahead read that after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air mm -hmm. and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that Read. creepeth upon the earth so God created man in his own image so God created man in his own image so if I'm creating something in my own image that means that thing is gonna look just like me so I'm a black man I'm gonna create another black man I got big white nose guess what they're gonna have big white nose that got nappy hair they're gonna have nappy hair because I'm creating it in my image a Xerox copy of me okay um finish that in the image of God created he him male and female created he them so he created man and female black woman and black man right give me Je uh, John chapter 14 the Bible is very clear people but you know throughout um, slavery we've been indoctrinated in, in believing what is not true and we take the, the lie as truth and fight against those who's bringing the truth to you all right let's read that the book of John chapter 14 verse 8 Philip saith unto him Lord shew us the father and it sufficeth us Jesus saith unto him have I been so long time with you and yet hast thou not known me Philip he that hath seen me have seen the father so that's that's a powerful thing right there God created men in his image right and Christ was his first creation so that mean that what that verse is telling you Christ is saying that him and the father have what you call what an uncanny resemblance you cannot not know that this is his father you get what i'm saying it's like you ever um you know you go on certain places and a kid walk by it's like damn that boy looks just like his daddy on a side note many many women hate their kids because they look too much like their baby daddy who ditched them so christ was a spitting image of god so that's why he told philip yo i've been with you for so long and you want to see what the father looked like Whoever see me sees the Father. What is he saying? A lot of uh, Christianity say, oh, that means he's saying he is God. No, no, no. By all means, no. Don't misunderstand the scripture. He's saying that if you see me, you've seen my dad. You know what my dad looked like because me and my father look just alike. Ain't no difference between the two. All right, read it again. 
the book of John chapter 14 verse 9 mm -hmm. Jesus saith unto him have I been so long time with you and yet hast thou not known me Philip he that have seen me have seen the father oh praises for that so now let's go to Revelation 114 and, and let's see the actual description of Christ we give you enough scripture already to already know he is a black man but hey the icing on the cake is Revelation 1.14 because the Bible actually describes what he actually looked like. Read. The book of Revelations, chapter 1, verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool, mm -hmm. as white as snow. So Christ, the description of Christ that he has what? White woolly hair. White woolly hair. When you look up woolly, that deals with what? Negro hair. So he had white, fully white, nappy headed hair the hair that you think is bad hair that you dogging and buying blonde wigs or, or fake hyena hair to put in your hair thinking that what you are ugly no you are beautiful because the Lord is the author of beauty and guess what he had woolly hair just like you Negro so stop hating yourself knowing that God looks just like you read as white as snow and his eyes were as a flame of fire. He had red eyes because he drank what, too much wine when you read, read the book of um, Genesis 49. He was not a wino, but he drank wine. Wine turns your, the white of your eyes red. Read. Verse 15. And his feet like unto fine brass. So his feet, when you wear um, sandals, the top of your feet is the same color as the rest of your body. It says his feet was as unto what? Fine brass. What color is brass? Brass is what? A derivative of brown, correct? So he was a brown man. But let's examine a little bit further. Read. As if they burned in a furnace. As if they burnt in a furnace. Now anybody you try, try to burn, take everything white and burn it. White paper, white rice. It doesn't matter what color it was. If you burnt something, it turns what? Black. Very black man. Like, you know, they say like you saw black, you blue. Oh, your mama left you in, in, in the oven too long? He was black. So love your black skin to know that Christ is black just like you. But many of us, we hate ourselves. We bleach our, our, our skin. We bleach our hair. To do what? To look like the oppressor. Meanwhile, Christ looked just like you. So that's why we are here teaching you the truth. Uh, let's go to the book of... Um, oh, no, finish that. And his voice as the sound of many waters. So when Christ spoke, people hear him. I don't know if you've ever been to Niagara Falls. That water, like if you're speaking standing next to it, you got to shout because the water overpowers you. Christ did not speak like the uh, a false image you see on TV. And the Lord loves you. All soft and quiet. He was a very loud man because he spoke like a man. Okay? Let's go to the book of Daniel now. Daniel 10 verse 5. The book of Daniel, chapter 10, verse 5. Then I lifted up mine eyes, and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen, whose loins were girded with fine gold of Uphaz. His body also was like the barrel. So Christ was wearing a green garment on. Barrel is green, read. And his face as the appearance of lightning. So he, he had that glow about him, read. And his eyes as lamps of fire. That's what we read in the Revelation. He had red eyes, read. And his arms and his feet like in color. Stop. And his arm and his feet. You see my arm? My arm is the same color as my feet. If I was wearing slippers, you can see that. So the scripture says his arm and his feet were the same color, like in color. To what? To polished brass. To polished brass. How do you polish brass? You burnt it in fire. Burnished brass, polished brass. That means what? Another uh, verse that shows you that Christ was a very black man. Read. And the voice of his words like the voice of a multitude. So when he spoke, like remember Christ got on the boat, on Peter's boat, went into the water a little bit, and then the people stood at the beach and he taught everybody with no mic. So you understand what kind of power he had in his voice? That's why when we go to camp, we teach with power. We teach with authority just like our, for, our Father Christ did. Alright? Let's go to uh, Daniel 7 and 9. The book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 9. 
I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the ancients of days did sit, whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. So the ancient of days, that's God, without days and age. He had a body, he sat, he had a white garment on, that means to sit, to have clothes on, you gotta have a body, and his hair was like the pure wool. God had woolly hair, just like his son Christ has woolly hair. Which means what? God, Christ, or black people. So erase that false image of Caesar Borgia in your, in your head. That's the name of the image you, you worship, the image of the beast. So you will not find white Jesus in the Bible, and I dare you to bring me the verse that shows it. With that, we're going to say shalom. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.